Here is the application of trigonometry in three dimensions. Rabbits observed a falcon nest on top of a cliff across Humber River. They estimated angle of the base vertically below the nest from two different points A and B, 60 meter apart, to be 41 degrees and 55 degrees respectively. If their estimate of the angle of elevation from point A was 35 degrees, determine the height of the nest on the cliff. So that's an inspiration from my Humber River walk. Now let's see how to solve this kind of problem. So let's make a diagram to represent the situation. So the situation is kind of like this. Here we have the river, right? So that's the river. And across the river there's a cliff on which we have a nest where sits our falcon. Now rabbits, they, they are very conscious about it and they kind of do some measurements and the measurements are given there. They estimated angle of the base vertically below the nest from two different points A and B, 60 meter apart. That means, let us say that these are the two different points which are 60 meter apart, right? And from these points, the angle to the base of the cliff is being measured. And how much is it? It is 41 degrees and 55 degrees respectively. So this one is 41 degrees and the other one is 55 degrees. And let's call the first point as A, the next point as B. If their estimate of angle of elevation from point A was 35 degrees, that means angle of elevation is this, right? That is the angle, which is 35 degrees. Determine the height of the nest, that means this height we want to find on the cliff. So let's label it. Let's say this point is C and this point is D for us. So we need to find DC. Now that is the question. Now in this case, what we can do is, we have triangle ABC, we can always find angle C, right? Angle C is how much? 180 minus 41 minus 55, that is angle C, right? So we can write angle C is equal to 180 degrees minus 41 degrees minus 55, correct? Let's use calculator, figure it out. So that one is 180 minus 41 minus 55 which gives us 84 degrees so we find this angle to be 84 degrees Good. now once we know all the three angles then okay we also know distance between a and b which is 60 meters it's kind of critical right we shouldn't forget about that now we know the angle and side opposite so we can use sine law to find sides of this triangle, right? The other two sides. Important side to find is AC. Once we know AC and we know this is vertical, so that's at 90 degrees, we can always find height. So AC, we'll use sine law now, AC over sine of 55 degrees is equal to AB, which is 60 meters over sine of 84. I mean, sine of 84 degrees. So from here we can find what AC is. So AC is 60 over sine of 84 degrees times sine of 55 degrees. So let's find this answer which is 60 times sine of 55 degrees divided by sine of 84 degrees. What do we get? 49.419. So we can write this as equal to 49.42. So we get side AC. Now since we know that triangle ADC is right triangle, right? So we can do it on this side now. So let's solve for triangle ADC. Triangle ADC is a right triangle. So in that tan of 35, is equals to height over AC. 
AC is 49.42. So from here we can get height. Height will be 49.42 times tan of 35 degrees. Correct? So that's what it is. 49.42 times tan of 35. That gives us 34.60. Six zero, the units are meter and therefore we can say the height of the nest on the cliff is and that's our answer right height is 34.6 meters correct so that is how you can solve these questions the idea is first sketch and represent the situation and then solve the two triangles to get your answer and that's how most of the questions will be done wherever we have 3D, right? So remember one thing that you have to apply cosine law if you have side, side, side or side included angle side. In all other cases you apply sine law. And if you have a right triangle then use trigonometric ratios directly. Thank you and all the best.